The U.S. Air Force has a missile truck. It's called the F-15EX. If you want to talk about the biggest load of missiles for an American fighter, then talk the F-15EX Eagle II, because it's becoming quite the missile truck. There are two more weapon stations on the Boeing fighter that were tested with two successful missile launches in late November uh, above the Gulf of Mexico. The F-15EX fired air-to-air missiles in a manner that was deemed satisfactory by the Air Force. This evaluation was noteworthy because now the F-15EX can carry a load of 12 missiles. Other F-15 variants can only deploy eight. F-16s have a six air-to-air missile load. Then the F-22 has a capacity for eight missiles, and these are a combination of sidewinders and AMRAMs. F-35s have a load of six, four internal and two external. Lockheed Martin plans to increase the missile load with a new F-35 variant. The extra weapon stations are at the tips of the wings on the F-15EX. And this worked well for the 96 test wing that ran the evaluation for the firing. One F-15EX launched an AMRAM and another fired a Sidewinder during the November test. It happened over the Elgin Test and Training Complex's water range. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Wee said the F-15EX is an incredible addition to the United States Air Force inventory. This event, executed by a top-notch team of test pilots, engineers, and experts, proves yet again that the F-15EX will be ready if and when our adversaries challenge our nation's interests. This is a significant milestone for the F-15EX to show that it can be an aerial combat stalwart. There's been some grumbling that since the new Eagle II is non-stealth, that it would not make any difference flying over contested airspace against an adversary like China. But one way to recognize the aerial order of battle would be to allow a B-2 or a new B-21 stealth bomber to fly with F-35s or F-22s to take out enemy air defenses. Then the F-15EX could join the battle on day two or day three of the conflict and blast away with its missile load and dogfight. This airplane would be loaded to the max and has much potential for the Air Force. The F-15EX is a twin-engine, multi-role fighter that has fly-by-wire controls, a stronger airframe, and better electronic warfare capability. The Eagle II should be able to fly 20,000 hours. The current F-15 pilots can jump in the cockpit and fire it up without a steep learning curve. Maintenance crews should transition smoothly when it comes to keeping the airplane in the air. The production of the F-15EX may be simplified since it can use the existing factory settings to produce it in numbers. 70% of the parts are the same. The Eagle II is easily upgraded with its open mission system feature. The F-15EX also features the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System and the AN-APG-82 radar. The Eagle II is considered a fourth-generation plus-plus fighter. The F-15EX is going to Air National Guard units, and some pilots have already remarked that flying it is awesome. And not everyone is convinced that the F-15EX should be a major acquisition buy. Congress trimmed its overall order in the coming years from 144 fighters to 80. The YF-23 National Defense Authorization Act funds 24 F-15EXs to enhance the F-15C and D fleet. The buy will be worth $2.3 billion. The F-15EX is an excellent upgrade over the F-15C and D. We now know the arms capacity is stellar, and the Eagle II can first prove its mettle with Air National Guard units as they put it through its initial paces. The new fighter has many advantages and will excel in homeland defense and will have a role to play in potential combat scenarios when it's time to play offense.